panagdait sa Jesus sa tanan. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about how to convert a decimal number into an octal number. So let's start with this example. 594, which is in the distance system. How can we convert it into an octal number, which is in the base eight system? Well, ang una natong buhaton is take the number that we have, which is 594. 594 divided by 8. So, let's use a calculator to do that. Now, 594 divided by 8 is 74 point 25 Karon ang bato na to is we need to identify the remainder so we have 74 and then remainder In order to identify it take the decimal value the number after the decimal point that is point 25 and then multiply by 8. So, 8 times 0.25 is 2. So, we have 74 remainder 2. Now, take 74 and then divide it by 8. Seventy four divided by eight is nine point twenty five. So this so this is gonna be nine remainder and multiply point twenty five by eight. So eight times point twenty five is Two. So we have 9 remainder 2. Next, kwaon ang 9 i divide siya by 8. So 9 divided by 8 is 1.125. So this is gonna be 1 remainder and multiply point 0.125 by 8 so 8 times point 0.125 is 1 so we have 1 remainder 1 next kwaon ang 1 i divide siya by 8 now, because 1 is less than 8, we can see that 8 goes into 1. 0 times with remainder 1. If you take 1 divided by 8, it's going to give you 0 0.125. So, kaning a number, it transfers siya dire. Then, kung i-multiply ni mo ang 0.125 by 8, this is gonna give you 1. Muna siya. So, you get remainder of 1. Now, the way you read your answer is read it starting from the most significant digit to the less significant digit. So you read the remainders from the bottom to the top. So the number is 1. And we have 1. And then we have 2. And then we have also 2. And then this is the base 8 system 
So, 594 in the base 10 system is equal to 1,122 in the base 8 system. And so, that's how we can convert a decimal number into an octal number. Now, let's go on to another example. 984, which is in the base 10 system. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take 984 divided by 8 so 984 divided by 8 is exactly 123 so this is 123 Remainder, zero. Now, let's take 123 divided by 8. So, you should get 15.375. So, this is 15. So, kanin 15 din siya gikuha. 15 with remainder. And then, 0.375 multiply by 8. So, it's remainder 3. Next, pawn ang 15 divided by 8. So, 15 divided by 8 is 1.875. So, this is 1 remainder. And then, 0.875 multiplied by 8. So, it's 1 remainder 7. So, our next number is 1 divided by 8. So, because 1 is less than 8, we can say that 8 is goes into 1. Zero, 0 times with a remainder 1. So, if you take 1 divided by 8, it's gonna give you 0 0.125. So, kaninga number, it transfer siya ni siya dre. And then, so you get a remainder 1. And now, we're gonna read it from the bottom to the top. So, we have so we have 1, then 7, and then 3, and then 0, and then this is the base 8 system. So therefore 984 a decimal is basically 1730 in the octal systems. So this is the answer. For the next lesson, we're gonna talk about how to convert a octal number into a decimal number. So let's start with this example. Let's say we have 500 570 in the octal system. How can we convert it into a decimal number which is the best 10 system? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply 0 by 8 to the 0 power and then 7 by 8 to the first power and then 5 by 
by 8 to the second power and we're gonna add up all these numbers so this so this is gonna be 5 times 8 squared plus 7 times 8 to the first power plus 0 times 8 to the 0 power. Now let's copy the 5x. Now 8 squared that is 8 times 8 which is 64 plus 7 times 8 is 56 plus 0 times anything that is 0. Now, 5 times 64, that is 320 plus 56. Then we have 320 plus 56, that is 376 in the decimal system. So... 570 in the base 8 system is equal to 376 in the base 10 system. And so that is how we can convert uh, octal number into a decimal number. Now let's try another example. 1051 in the octal system. Let's convert that in octal number into decimal number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this 1 by 8 to the 0 power and then 5 by 8 to the first power and then 0 to the second power and then 1 by 8 to the, th eight to the third. So this is gonna be 1 times 8 to the third plus 0 times 8 squared plus 5 times 8 to the first power, plus 1 times 8 to the 0 power. So what is 8 cubed? So 8 times 8 times 8, that's gonna be 512 plus 0 times 8 squared, that is 0, plus 5 times 8, that is 40. Plus 1 times 8 to the 0 power is 1. Okay. Can 8 to the 0 power not na shape value nga 1? So 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 512 plus 40 plus 1. That's gonna be. 553 in the base 10 system. So 1051 in the base 8 system is equal to 553 in the base 10 system. And so that is how we can convert an octal number into indecimal number.